Good morning. Let me do this here. We can see. Okay. Good morning. So, um, I thought today was going to be a relaxing day for me and it doesn't look like it's going to be. I need to get more of this stuff. Be bright. That's on my list today. So, um, today I really like this bye bye eye stuff, but it's too thick. It's really thick. So today the plan is, um, Haley's actually washing eggs right now. Um, Izzy was washing them with her and her friend Willow, but they want to go play at the Peef today. Um, the Peef is our physical education uh, facility, something facility at NMU Northern. So um, I had my son David run over and uh, yeah, see, I, I mean, it covers really nice. It's just uh, tomorrow I get my hair done. I had... My hair was supposed to be a lot lighter on top. My hair gets dark in the winter, but then in the summer it gets really light. So anyway, um, I had my David go over and finish eggs with Haley so um, I could get the girls over here because they want to go to the Peef and then they're going to play the Peef. And I'm going to drop Josh off at work. He's all ready for work today. And I don't know if you guys have seen any of our TikToks, but I put a TikTok, the cutest little cha, cha, -cha luna thingy. I'm really liking that whole trend. So far, it's going pretty good. Um, I have another idea for one. They just keep coming to me. But um, I did our family adoption. It's so cute. I love it so much. I wish I could like it myself. So anyway, I woke up and I had like 3 million views. And I just put it on last night before I went to bed. So anyway, um, I'm getting ready so we can get Josh to work. He works 11 to 5 today. Um, so... Um, that one I think is a little lighter. I'm going to make this one a little lighter too. My eyes are red. They're always red. So I'm officially down like five or six pounds. Um, there we go. Oh yeah, that's better. Then it's kind of even because this one was like that. Um, so anyway, I am getting ready. We're going to drop Josh off at work. We're going to drop the girls off at the Peef so they can play at the Peef today. Then me and Noah are going to do a little shopping, just the two of us. Just kind of hang out and see what's in the stores. I'll probably go get some lunch. Uh, my husband's playing racquetball with Robert. Um, so it's going to be just like a mom and a Noah day. I think he, uh, he's kind of been struggling lately. I think being the, the youngest of eight, I think he kind of loses his way. You know, because he's he doesn't really get overlooked, but he... You know, he sees all of his older siblings and what they're doing and how they, you know, what they've gone through. And I think he's just really trying to find his place. And I just really feel like right now he needs mom and dad time. And, you know, that's what we do sometimes, right? When we see our kids are struggling or we know they're just really unsure what's going on in their life. I think it's really important that us parents step up and become that light and just to hug him and let him know you know because he's not alone all my kids have gone through this but he probably feels alone because he was little when they were going through this so he didn't see it you know what I'm saying he he was just tiny playing with Legos and hanging out so he really didn't realize that the kids went through it too and so I just think he's struggling he's struggling in school he um He's just really struggling. I think he just, I think I just need to make sure I'm around him a lot. So looks like I need to get more eyebrow stuff too. So I'm going to take him and, and it's so funny because I told um, Rob, uh, David to go get the girls so I could uh, get them going. And he's like, mom, is it just me and you? And I'm like, yeah, it's just me and you. He's like, okay, cool. So he must really want to just spend time and we'll probably, I'll probably buy him some stuff. Um, yeah, so anyway, just a me and Noah day today. Just a me and Noah day. Maybe I'll video things we're doing or I don't know. I'll figure so maybe we'll do some fun things today. Because um, I don't really have anything to do. I do have to lift later. Um, I don't really have any like plans just because, I don't know. I have no plans. So my whole day is dedicated to my son, Noah. All right, let's do this here. Give me just two seconds. You know how hard it is to do eyeliner when you can't see? So I'm really, really excited that our video went through and I got the cutest idea. So I'll just kind of run it by you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go live today. 
if I do, it's like 20 minutes. So I think what I'm going to do is, um, if most of you guys, I'm assuming have seen it, could you either follow us on Instagram or TikTok? Um, I don't know if I have anybody on here that just does YouTube and found us. I don't think that's the case, but, uh, so it's that, you know, what things just make sense. So what just came to mind this morning, I thought it'd be super cute is things that just make sense when the doctors tell you you're not going to live. Um, and so I thought I'd have Joshy do it by himself and me and my husband behind us going, you and your parents fight every single day for you to be able to make it. Cause we did. And then I do, um, you know, I get my first job. Um, he, he plays the banjo. So I learned to play the banjo. He draws beautifully. Oh my goodness. You guys, I'll have him hold up a picture. He drew. I, um, I learned to draw. Um, and then of course I'll get him on the loader. I'll get him playing hockey. Like I'll get him, I'll get him doing lots of things that he was told that, where'd my brush go? That he couldn't do, you know, I don't know why I'm wearing white today. I mean, no parents should ever wear white, white, right? Um, so far so good, but if a kid hugs me or a kid throws something on the ground, I mean, or on the counter and I have to pick it up or you just never know. So that I think is going to be our next one. So I think I'm going to put that one together. Um, start putting that one together here this weekend. It's going to take a couple minutes because I have to get him on his hockey skates, get him, you know, grabbing his banjo. Um, so I think that's my next one. It's going to be things that just make sense when the doctor's, give you no hope for survival or give you um no chance at living or gives you no chance at um le leading a normal life that's what i should do when the doctors give you what things that just make sense when you're told you won't live a normal life there you go perfect because he really does right he can skate he can play hockey he can draw, he can play an instrument, he leads music in our church, um, he sings, he has the best smile ever. That should be one of them, right? When you, uh, when you have the best smile ever and you make other people smile. So that's, I think, going to be my next one. I'm thinking, like, where can I keep going with it, you know? People are really liking that whole series and people have been commenting, I really like this series. And the music is so, like, I don't know, it's just so catchy, I guess. So I don't know. I think, you know, things that just make sense when you're going on vacation. That's a cute one too. I'm going to have to shorten them a little bit though. I don't know if people are going to keep watching them, but they'll love the Joshy one. I already love it right now. Just thinking about it. Wait till you guys see his, his drawings. He did a self portrait with pencil. It's beautiful. I actually have to get it framed. I think I'm going to get it framed. I have a bunch of his artwork that I want to do just a hallway of his artwork What'd be really cool is if I hung it in his bedroom, like um, organized his bedroom and just had like a whole room of just his artwork. I mean, that'd be super cool. And when he gets his own place, we can get it all framed. I know I've been, you're like, you're doing that, that one forever I am. I like things to be even. All right. All right. That feels weird. I just don't know if I should be wearing white, but I'm gonna, this sweater is so comfortable. I got, um, I also got one that's in green and it's like a neon green, it's super cute. All right, so I'm gonna go down and get my coffee and then I'm gonna start my day with my son. Oh, see now this, I just put mascara on this side and it's, my eyelashes are, they're kind of sticking together here. Let's do this. Yeah, that's better, okay. All right. Okay, well, this is as good as it gets today. I got my clip holding my hair in the back. I know I'm kind of talking quietly today. I just feel very calm today. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I just feel very calm. Just, um, yeah. It's going to be a nice day today. And I worked out yesterday with my husband. I did two workouts. And we have a sauna in our house. So the sauna is so nice. Like, I'm going to bring these. I need this, this. Oh, wait, where's my... These are the three things I have to get today for makeup. I have to get my Be Bright, my um, Air Volume Mascara, and my, I think this is L'Oreal Boost Style Brow. Those are the three things I got to get. What? 
I'm vlogging again, correct. Are you vlogging again, Mom? Okay, you guys, we got to get moving here so Josh isn't late. Um, I don't know. We have to be out the door by 1020. So, hey, Noah, can you run outside and start the car, please? Like, actually put my purse in it and start the car? It's 10. Okay, we got 20 minutes. Um, I need somebody to run out and get the car started. It's been like 10 below, 17 below, 4 degrees. Do you want to start the car, Josh? Okay, here. I didn't find another lunchbox because I couldn't find the one that I had. Oh, you didn't bring it back? Uh, yes, I did. Just it's not in the car. Say good morning. Hi. Okay, here. Take that out. Start the car. Keep it in there because we're going to be freezing if you don't. Are you sure that it didn't get washed and put up? I don't know. Okay, that's fine, hon. You can keep taking these lunch pails, but you have to bring them back. I mean, and that one I gave you was Noah's, and it's really, really nice. I bet you left, it's either, you probably left it in David's car. Who picked you up, David? So you left it in David's car or you left it at the place? Well, honey, if you'd have brought it in. Yeah, but if you'd have brought it in, it would be here and it's not. So just make sure when you get to, um, you get to work that you look for that, okay? Look at these flowers that my, my Haley's friend brought me their lilies are so nice his mom kind of gave me the idea his mom is super great and she like whoa why is the hot tub lid open she's super great and she uh really just knows like etiquette and stuff it's pretty cool why is the hot tub lid open what the heck my hot tub lid's open. I think it's because all the wind last night. We got to get it closed. That's craziness. <sighs> Come on. My dog. Were you all in the hot tub last night? Izzy, were you guys in the hot tub last night? Where are my shoes? Let's find my shoes. I guess this isn't vlogging. This is just walking around. I'm not going live, right? I'm acting like I'm live. Okay, so um, we got to get that hot tub closed. So I'm just going to grab my socks. I get the kids going. Like I said, it's going to be a me and Noah day today. Um, do some shopping. He's been kind of growing, so I think I need to get him some, um, some pants. Oh, there's my Haley girl just coming in. There's my Haley girl. Oh, my socks are all wet now. Okay, well, have a good Saturday. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so me and Noah just finished our day together. Hello. And um, we got, we're actually having a nacho fountain bar tonight because the two first two playoff games are today. Our teams don't play till tomorrow. I am um, a KC fan and he's a Rams fan. We're going to do a funny TikTok on that tomorrow, but... um. We're actually going to do it today, but for tomorrow. So we dropped off Josh at work. He's 11 to 4. We actually had to go in and get some Charitos drinks. Charitos. Gerardi's? Charitos uh -huh. drinks. And Josh was putting in all the carts. And uh, he said hi to me, but he's like, Mom. And then um, we dropped off Izzy and Willow. They went to the Peef for the day. My husband went to the Peef with Robert. And so now we're done shopping, got our stuff for our bar. Um, we're picking up Willow and Izzy. David's actually coming in town. So he is going to, oh my goodness. So he is going to take care of, um, um, he's going to take care of picking up Noah. And so he's Josh. going, yeah, he's going to take care of picking up Josh. And then I'm heading home right now because I have to lift, actually. I have two things I have to do, two lifts. So Noah's actually going to be putting together the Nacho Fountain Bar. Um, we're going to get the meat ready, the chicken ready, everything in its container. So when it's time to eat, all we got to do is heat everything up and then um, put it together. And then everybody can start eating. We'll at least put the cheese in. We got to melt all the cheeses together so it goes through the fountain um, better. And I'm going to put like a little bit of cream in there just so it's super thin. So we had a nice day. We ate at a local restaurant for breakfast. That was really good. We both had oh. Eggs Benedict. I didn't realize my son loves Eggs Benedict like me. So we have Eggs Benedict shopped. We got him some pants, a couple sweatshirts. 
picking up the girls and now, and now on our way home we're gonna grab David's cake. He said he wanted chocolate cake. So we're gonna get his cake because we always surprise our kids when they wake up. They get their whole birthday sitting downstairs um, when, they, when they get ready. So we'll have his cake there and then um, we're just gonna go home and kind of, that's a cool shirt, go home and kind of relax. So we're picking up the girls right now. I guess they had some skiing thing, the, the Kwamanon race or something, a bunch of cross country skiers. So there's people everywhere today, it's so busy. Um, so yeah, so that was our day. We had a really nice time together. It's gonna be nice tonight, just kind of hanging out with the family, watching football. Oh, people struggle so much driving. I don't know how half these people have vehicles or how they even got their driver's license. It's, it's not hard to obey the rule. Ooh, it's not hard to obey. Oh my goodness, this is craziness. Okay, um, happy Saturday.